What's up guys, it's Justin from Elite Life Nutrition and I wanna share with you the number one most important food to help pull out heavy metals from your body. So there are a number of important foods out there, by the way, I've talked about this in past videos and we'll cover this more in future videos, but there are foods out there and also supplements, by the way, that can go into the cells and pull out the heavy metals, the mercury of the world, the aluminum of the world, the copper, the lead, the toxic heavy metals out there, and there's so many other ones, I just I'm drawing a little bit of a blank, but there's probably a dozen other ones out there, but these are the biggest ones. These are the ones that cause the most, and the mercury is the biggest one by far, the aluminum is the biggest one, the second biggest one by far, then the lead, then the copper, then some of the other ones out there as well. The uh, arsenic is, a, is another one too as well that um, is found in so many foods, that is found in the air that we breathe, in the water that we drink, and just coming across these products, if we touch you know, these products that we can actually absorb it through our skin in some cases. So throughout our entire lives, we're faced constantly with heavy metals. We're faced, we're bombarded actually with heavy metals and everywhere we go, even in the furniture that we have and you know, the places that we sit down in and our beds and our pillows, the, the fabric, the material that's used to process, to make these furnitures, to make these clothes, to make everything that we see around us, there's all chemicals that go into these things. That's why it's so important, by the way, to cleanse every single day, to make sure that you're pulling these things out of your system every single day. And to make sure that you're not building these things up over time, because that's when chronic disease starts to happen. It starts to occur when you have an over, overabundance of toxins that have built up over time and they're damaging the cells. If you have, everyone is going to be coming across toxins in their lives, whether it's heavy metals or whether it's just petrochemicals or um, other toxins from, you know, again, furniture that we have and air that we're breathing or water that we're drinking. Heavy metals are found throughout all these places and heavy metals tend to be the most dangerous, but just any type of toxin in general, petrochemicals specifically, but any toxin in general, xenobiotics that come into your life that are not supposed to be in your body can cause all kinds of problems and these things build up over time and then you start to get the chronic diseases of the world. You start to get the Alzheimer's, you start to get the dementia, you start to get the Parkinson's, you start to get the lupus, you start to get the chronic fatigue syndrome, you start to get uh, the Lyme disease symptoms, the symptoms of Lyme disease, you start to get the eczema, the weird rashes on yourself, the psoriasis, the crazy autoimmune like conditions that people are labeling everything autoimmune these days. They're doing that because they have all these weird symptoms that nobody can figure out. Nobody can explain how they're happening. But in most cases, they're happening because there's viruses present and there's also toxins present. And those are the two, and even cancer. Cancer is actually a combination of viruses plus toxins. And toxins build up over time and these toxins damage the cells and that's what ends up causing the cancer that goes rampant. It's actually the virus that goes rampant and is causing these problems in the body which they'll label as cancer or other conditions. And you know, again, across the board, it's so many different conditions out there that, um, that we don't have any answers for, that doctors, conventional medicine has no answers for. Um, but the answer really is getting these toxins out of the system, lowering that viral load. We have many viruses in us, all of us have many viruses in us right now, but we have to lower that viral load. We have to fight and break down the viruses inside us so that they don't cause problems, so that they can just lie dormant inside of us, almost like a sleeping giant that, you know, if it never gets awakened or if it's never strong, it's not really a giant and it's not causing any problems. But if we're feeding this giant by feeding it toxins, by feeding it crap, by eating like crap, by having, having super high fat diets, by doing all of these things that feed that giant, this, the sleeping giant, we awaken that giant, then it causes all kinds of crazy problems and symptoms, which will label fibromyalgia, will label it uh, dementia, will label it Parkinson's, will label it chronic fatigue syndrome, all these things that we don't have actual sources of or, or explanations for in conventional medicine. That's what a sleeping giant really is. It's a virus that's dormant, that's been activated because we fed it. Oftentimes, by the way, unwittingly, unknowingly, we fed our giant, sleeping giants within us, the viruses within us. We fed it these toxins that we've come across in day-to-day -day living that unfortunately we just can't avoid because it is everywhere. It is omnipresent these days. Toxins are everywhere and heavy metals are everywhere. But cleansing your body every single day, even if it's a, a minor slight cleanse, we can, we can do these types of things to pull these toxins out of the body, to pull the food, the source of feeding these sleeping giants, the viruses within us, 
we can pull that the, the source of its sustenance away from it and the biggest sustenance is the toxins within it and the best way by the way to pull the the source of the energy for the sleeping giants which are the viruses which cause these problems is by cleansing it and by having something like a heavy metal detox smoothie my friend anthony william recommends it and it i've per done it personally for many years and absolutely love it i highly recommend it it's got all kinds of incredible food and supplements in it but the most important one, the single most important food that is within this and the best food that you can take every single day to cleanse out the, these toxins and specifically these heavy metals from the deepest parts of your cells is cilantro. This baby right here, cilantro, this little green, beautiful miracle gift from God is an incredible, incredible uh, source of pulling out the heavy metals and the toxins found deep within your cells. So we have things like wild blueberries, which I've talked about before in different videos. We have all kinds of different other foods, barley, grass, juice. We have spirulina. We have dulse, which is a seaweed. So many things out there. And then there's, there's also more of the ones that a lot of scientists, uh, there's different clays out there that, that they formulated these, um, I forget the actual names of it, but there's different there's different substances that they sort of created that these, these smart, um, non-conventional scientists, these doctors, these sort of functional medicine-like doctors and scientists have created these sort of formulas. Uh, David Shade comes to mind. Uh, sorry, Chris, Chris Shade. Dr. Chris Shade comes to mind with some of the things that he's formulated for pulling these things out. And they seem to work pretty well overall, these, these sort of these clays and um, these, these different ways of hitting into the cells and pulling them out. But there's nothing that works better in my opinion, than the heavy metal detox smoothie. And the most important part of pulling the heavy metals out of your cells, better than all the other things that these guys have found, is the cilantro. This goes deep into these cells and pulls those heavy metals out like nothing else can do. Not even the wild blueberries can do. The wild blueberries do incredible, incredible things, but they don't pull out the, the deep, deep parts of these cells that are affected the he by heavy metals. They, these guys go in from generations ago and pull out the heavy metals that you're born with. The heavy metals that were, you know, from your great, great grandparents that were in there for, for generations. These, the cilantro right here, this beautiful thing right here, can go deep into those cells and pull out those heavy metals better than anything else known to man. And it, so it is the one thing that you want to be making sure that you have on a day-to-day -day basis. Every single day, you should, you should have at least one cup of cilantro. And preferably, I mean, it, to me personally, it's a very strong taste, so I can't just sit here and chomp on cilantro. Preferably, you throw it in some type of smoothie. And preferably, it's a you know smoothie mixed with wild blueberries, bananas, and oranges, something that's gonna taste really good and mask up that strong taste. If you like cilantro, if you like the taste, go ahead and you know, have a cup of it every day. Personally, for me, that's a little too tough to do, but I will have at least one cup of day mixed in a smoothie so I can take it down because I know just how important it is and just how incredible it is for my health and for getting out those heavy metals and those toxins deep in my cells and keeping me at my very best so I can do these incredible videos for you guys and keep putting out this content. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it below, leave a comment below and share exactly what you like to take for getting your cell, your toxins out of your cells, what the best food that you've had for pulling out your toxins and your heavy metals out. I want to know what that is and I also want to know if you've ever tried cilantro, what you think of cilantro and how you take your cilantro down every day if you do take it and if you are one of those people like me who has cilantro in their life. How do you consume your cilantro? I want to know. It's very important for me to hear this because personally I hate the taste which is by itself but when it's mixed in with something else I love the taste because I don't really taste it and I know it's doing incredible things for me. But that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure you like below, leave a comment, and share with a friend who you think will benefit from watching this video.